Man, I gotta start off funny story here. You don't know, but you're probably the reason I'm married to my wife. 2010, we played the Lions. Thanksgiving, you're hurt. Yeah. I get two interceptions. She kind of sends me the "What's up, stranger?" text. I probably don't get those interceptions yeah. if you're there. So, man, I, I want. I you're welcome. Say, man, I appreciate you're that, welcome. man. <laughs> I remember that game, actually. Yeah, Yeah, man. you guys were in the throwbacks. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Good game, yeah. What's the difference between Matthew Stafford in 2021 and a Matthew Stafford now? Oh, man. Um, I don't know. I just feel like I'm trying to continue to grow, right? Uh -huh. Like, I'm just trying to get better. Obviously, I uh, had, had a tough season last year, injury-wise. Um, wasn't able to be healthy as much as I wanted to be. Wasn't be able to be out there. Um, so now I'm just out there enjoying it, man. Uh -huh. um, it's, it's a great experience. We've got a young team with a good mix of veteran guys uh -huh. that know, you know, know what it takes to get there. And, and uh, it's been a lot of fun. It hasn't been this smooth sailing, easy season. Yep. It's been a lot of ups and downs, but uh, you know, we've, we've pushed through and it's been, it's been great. Man, you, you talk about young team. I know last year I had a moment where I was talking to a guy and we were talking about high school. I said, yeah, my, my freshman year was 2001. He was like, I was born in 2000. Yeah. Have you had that moment where you felt like the old guy? Oh yeah, a bunch of times. We got a couple <laughs> guys in our locker room right now that are from Detroit that when they came here were like, man, I grew up watching you. I was, you know, X years old when you got drafted to the Lions. I'm like, thanks guys. You know, I'm still trying to do it, but it's, uh, it is fun. But, you know, the, the more I play this game, the longer I'm in it, the more I appreciate the experiences. Mm -hmm. Obviously, um, you know, this weekend will be a unique experience for me as well. And, and uh, I just, you know, enjoy those new ones. What advice have you given some of the younger guys or guys that haven't played in the playoffs entering this game? Yeah, I mean, I think the biggest thing is just trust what got you here, you know? I mean, it's been work. It hasn't been this thing where, you know, we started out the gate and won all of our games. You know, we've worked to get to where we are. It takes preparation. It takes trusting yourself, trusting your teammates, and understanding that just go out and play your best, and your yeah. best is good enough. Whatever the stage is, you know, it may increase with however far we go. Um, you know, just trust yourself, trust your preparation, trust the guys next to you. Some people out there are saying they're surprised that you guys are in this position. Has anything in this season surprised you? Golly, uh, you know, I, I understand the narrative. You mm -hmm. know, I mean, I understand it. Um, where we were last year, um, what we had to do in the offseason as far as letting some guys go, moving on from some guys that were key pieces in 21. Um, but no, I, I, nothing, you know, surprises me anymore in the NFL. You know, <laughs> who knows who's going to be good? You got to go out there and play the games, work and practice and, and prepare. And that's what I'm so proud of this team for doing. Our head coach leads us. Um, it gets us going in the right direction, and guys follow. And uh, all we've done is continue to try and get better week in and week out. And obviously, the second half of the season, you know, we've played at a high level. Speaking of that, three and six going to bye week, then you went seven of the next eight. Mm -hmm. What was the turning point during that bye week? I mean, I think uh, you know, just coming back with a renewed focus, renewed mm -hmm. you know, freshness. Sometimes those bye weeks come at the wrong time, and sometimes they come yep. at the perfect time. And it came at the perfect time for us. I was coming off of a thumb injury, um, was able to get an extra week of healing in there. Wasn't quite right, you know, for the first couple of weeks when I came back, but uh, was able to play, you know, the kind of football that I wanted to play. We got Kyron back, um, you know, some of the guys got healthy, and, and uh, it was a big, you know, a big help for us. And then, you know, you got to go out there and finish games. Yeah. We played really well in the first half of the season against some top caliber teams that we didn't finish the game, and uh, we found ways to finish it um, for the majority of the time in the second half of the season, and that's, you know, that's what gets you wins. You spoke about the uniqueness of this week coming up. You walk into four field. Do you know how to get to the visitor locker room? <laughs> I've only been there a couple times for maybe a photo shoot or something, but uh, no, it is, it's is—it's going to be a strange feeling. Um, I think it's the same tunnel, right? We used to always walk down, <laughs> yeah, so at least I'll know the tunnel. But uh, no, it, it is going to be an interesting feeling, um, you know, walking through there, being on the other sideline. That's the other thing, just standing on the opposite sideline mm -hmm. will be interesting. But, uh, you know, once the ball snapped, man, let's go play it's football. Ball. It's, uh, it's going to be a great atmosphere. I know that. That mm -hmm. place loves football, they love their lines, and they should be proud of them. This year they're playing at a really high level. First home playoff game in 30 some odd years, it's gonna be, uh, it'll be rocking and rolling, it'll be a good atmosphere. I remember playing against Brady when he came back and he was smiling, he was talking, he just, he just seemed happy. Have you thought about what your mindset or approach is gonna be? Oh man, I don't know. I'm just gonna enjoy being there, being, mm -hmm. you know, being in the experience. Uh, I'm not gonna predetermine I'm gonna be this way or that way or the other. It's just, hey, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go enjoy seeing the people that I haven't seen in a while. Um, enjoy going to play an opportunity, uh, you know, to play in a, in a playoff game. Yeah. I mean, that's uh, something that uh, not a lot of people thought we'd have the opportunity to, to do uh, to start the season, and, and we're here. So um, I'll enjoy that, um, you know, as far as how I'm feeling. 
I'm just going to let myself feel how I'm feeling and, and go play. I love that, man. That, that's the true essence of football. Mm -hmm. Man, have you, have you been back since the trade? And if so, what was the interaction like with the fans in Detroit? I have. Um, Kelly and I have a couple things off the field that we left, mm -hmm. uh, you know, going on while we left there. And, um, you know, we've been back for a few of those. And it's, it's been great. And the majority of the people there, uh, you know, obviously pull like crazy for the Lions, but have always been so supportive to my family and, and me. Um, and I don't take that for granted. Uh, it's a special thing, you know, and that it really, you know, people say, oh, it, it says a lot about you. It doesn't. It says a lot about the people oh. of Detroit. And the people of Detroit have always had my back, win, lose, draw, whatever it is. My wife getting sick, my kids being born, whatever it is. Um, people have always been there for us from that city, and, and that uh, it means a lot to, to me and, and my family. When you were in Detroit, what was the loudest ever you've, you've heard that stadium? Um, 2011, Monday Night Football Week. I don't know, early in the season, maybe six, maybe seven, eight, nine, like that. We were playing Chicago, uh -huh. and uh, Cutler was coming in. They were playing pretty good, too. And uh, I think Cutler and the guys had, like, six false starts on offense, maybe seven, <laughs> and that thing was rocking. So uh, I expect it to be something like that uh, or, or probably a little bit more, I think, to be I honest. I think it's going to be a little bit more. <laughs> so uh, it's going to be – it'll be an awesome atmosphere. I'm excited for everybody to get to play in that game and, and uh, go have some fun. Man, it'll be cool just to see you and the family back. Man, I got to ask you, Puka Nakua, mm -hmm. where did he come from and when did you notice, like, all right, this guy's going to be pretty good this year? Yeah, I mean, I spent some time throwing with him during OTAs last, mm -hmm. last offseason, and then in between OTAs and training camp, we spent some time, and uh, like I do with most of the guys, but he was, he was doing a great job. He's one of those guys that, you know, you, w you walk off the bus and he's six foot two, 210 or 15 pounds, whatever he is, okay, so check, you know, he fits mm -hmm. the mold there. <laughs> you watch him run around and move, and you go, okay, check, and catch the football, it's effortless and all that, and then... You put the pads on and you go, okay, let's see what it's all about, rookie. Yep. And uh, I think his game gets better. Dude's he, physical, man. So he's physical. He loves contact. He wants to block. You know, he's running after the catch. And that's that's uh, a complete football player. Mm -hmm. I feel like um, between him and Cooper, I mean, those two guys, um, as complete of football players at the wide, rec wide receiver position in the league. Mm -hmm. um, and it's really cool to have both those guys in the same room, you know, learning and tweaking from each other's games. And, and uh, it's been fun. Man, how has you and, and Coach McVay's relationship evolved over the years? Oh, I mean, just like any friendship, you know, and, mm -hmm. and uh, I feel like uh, we understand each other better now than we probably ever have. You know, I have a ton of respect for him as a human being and as a football coach. I feel like he has the same for me, and I just feel my, you know, I, I count my blessings, and I know that I'm lucky to come to work with a guy like that every single day. Not only how he is to me in our offense, but how he treats everybody in the mm -hmm. building, how he treats – um, you know, everybody on defense, how he interacts with everybody. I mean, he's as involved as uh, anybody I've ever been around and, and uh, is really great at connecting with people. And, and that's what that position is all about. Mm -hmm. So count myself lucky to be, uh, to be a part of it and, and uh, get to work with him. That's awesome. I asked a few guys what it was like playing with you, and they said, tough. <laughs> they will go to bat for you any day. 35 years old, what still gives you that drive now to go out there, and why is this team so special? Well, I love playing. I love playing. I love competing. I love the preparation process, all of it. I wouldn't be doing it if I didn't. Uh -huh. And, um, you know, each year is a new challenge, right? I mean, 21 was an unbelievable challenge having to, you know, come to a brand new yeah. team with a bunch of guys and, and one goal was to win the championship Handle no matter that well. what, right? Like, I mean, <laughs> that was tough. You know, the next year, new challenge. Didn't go the way we wanted, man. Freaking pull yourself up and go and see what it's all about and, and see, uh, you know, see what you can do the next year in 23. we got a bunch of young guys. It's a new experience. I'm getting new experience going back to playing Detroit in a playoff game. I mean, there's, uh, you, you don't get this outside of football and uh, you don't get these experiences, the, these interactions, these relationships. And um, I love all of that. And uh, it's, it's a true, you know, chance to test yourself, you know, as a person, as a leader, as all of that. Um, and as a player, go out there and have some fun. All right, man, last one. I think I know two of these, but Matthew Stafford's top three receivers, you go going to play a game. I think we got Calvin and Cooper. Yeah. Who's that third guy on there? Guys I've played with. That you played with, yes. Oh, man. That is really tough. I put you on the spot, Yeah, why are you man? doing this to me? I'm going to take about four more. We're going five wide, six wide the whole game. I mean, you don't need any backs. No, no, I don't need them. Uh, no, I've, I've been so lucky to play with the guys that I've played with. Uh, I mean, off the top of my head, it's – it's Marvin Jones, it's Puka, it's Kenny Galladay, it's freaking Danny Amendola. Oh. I mean, it's so many. It's Golden Tate. I mean, it's all these guys that I got to play with. Um, I consider myself really lucky um, to have played with some of the best guys to play the position. And some, honestly, which is a lucky thing too, some of the most unselfish guys. Oh. I mean, Calvin Johnson, um, you know, Cooper, Puka, all these guys. I mean, just want what's best for the team. Oh. And that is such a cool thing to be able to have as a quarterback, as a receiver that's 
as good or anybody in the world at their position, but also just wants what's best for the team. And, and uh, it's been really cool, uh, you know, a cool journey for 15 years, and, and we'll keep it rolling. That's awesome. Hey, enjoy being back in Detroit. Appreciate you deserve it. it, man. Thank you. Definitely. Hi, I'm Mike Tirico, and thanks for watching. Make sure to hit subscribe for the latest news and highlights from NBC Sports.